Hi. Now coming to this question, we have uh, in a triangle ABC, AB is equal to AC, which is equal to eight. So we have a triangle ABC. Now with BC as diameter, a circle is drawn which passes through A. Okay. So with BC as diameter, we draw a circle. The circle is such that it passes through A. So excuse me for the drawing, but this would be the circle with BC as diameter and it passes through A. Now since BC is the diameter and the diameter is making this angle over here on the circle. Now we know diameter subtends an angle of 90 degree on the circle, right? So this angle here is going to be equal to 90 degree. This is going to be a right triangle basically. BAC is going to be the right angle. Okay. Now next is uh, another circle drawn with center A passes through B and C. Now with A as the center, if we draw and AB as the radius, we know AB and AC are equal. With AB as the radius, if we draw another circle, it passes through B and C. That means AB is the radius. So we have another circle with A as the center, which can be drawn like this. Okay. This is another circle. Fine. So we have to calculate the area of the common region. Okay. Which is the common region here. Let's see. Uh, the common here region here is this is the semicircle. First of all, the smaller semicircle. And this here is the segment of the bigger circle. We have to calculate this total area. Fine. Okay. So first is this part here, the upper part, this part, this total area. This is nothing but the semicircle, the smaller circles semicircle. Now we know AB is eight and AC is eight and BC. Since this is a isosceles right triangle, BC will be eight root two. Hypotenuse of a isosceles right triangle is root 2 times the two smaller sides. So for the smaller circle, the radius is going to be or the radius is right. The radius is going to be half of BC. BC is the diameter. So radius will be half of BC, which is 8 root 2 by 2, 4 root 2. So area of the semicircle, this semicircle is going to be half the area of the total circle, which is pi into 8 root 2 whole square. So this comes out to be half of pi into uh, 4 root 2 whole square. Half of this, this 8 root 2 was the diameter, the radius will be 4 root 2. So this is 8 goes by 2 4 times 4 root 2 whole square is 16 into 2. So this comes out to be 16 pi. So area of the top part is 16 into pi. We have to calculate the overlapping region. So one part we have already calculated. Now to calculate the area of this segment here, uh, what we need to do is we need to simply uh, from this total sector, we need to subtract the area of this triangle. So what is this total sector? This is a quarter circle, right? This total sector is a quarter circle. So this area will be one fourth the area of the bigger circle. The radius of the bigger circle is 8. So the area of the bigger circle is pi 8 square and the area of this quarter is one fourth of it minus the area of this triangle. Now area of this triangle will be half of perpendicular into base 8 into 8, 8 square. So 6, 8 square is 64, 64 by 4 is 16 pi minus 8 square is 64, 64 by 2 is 32. So area of this part is 16 minus 32. Hence, the required total area, the total area comes out to be 16 pi plus 16 pi minus 32, which is 32 pi minus 32, which gives me 32 into pi minus 1. This is going to be the total area of the required region. What was the required region? This total region plus this uh, blue part. Okay, so the answer here is option B 32 into pi minus 2. So that's it for this question. Thank you.